Okay, so this is the respiratory system second part, and this starts at the bottom of page one. And again, we are working through uh, the respiratory system note packet. So we'll get started with that right now. And here we go. So the organization of the respiratory system can be organized a couple different ways. And the first way that we organize it is by the function. So it can consist of, the, or I'm sorry, by with a location. So it can be an upper respiratory tract, nose to larynx, and a lower respiratory tract, the trachea onwards. But then we also can talk about the conducting portion, which goes on to the next page. The conducting portion transports air. It includes the nose, the nasal cavity, the pharynx, the larynx, trachea, and progressively smaller airways from the primary bronchi to the terminal bronchioles. And you labeled some of these things on the last diagram uh, the diagram in your notes here has a little bit more detail to it, uh, and we will talk about some of the individual parts going forwards. So the respiratory portion carries out gas exchange, and that is composed of the smallest airways and the respiratory, or the called respiratory bronchioles and alveolar ducts as well as air sacs called the alveoli and we will look at those images in just a second okay in this diagram the upper respiratory system is basically from here up so it's the parts in the head and the lower respiratory system is the trachea and the lungs going down and then the conducting parts are the spaces that the air travels through all the way until you get to the tiny parts where the gas exchange actually occurs that is the stuff basically that's in this side box here those are the respiratory portions. So again, we can talk about upper and lower, upper being in the head, lower the lungs and trachea. And then we can talk about conducting, which is where the air passes through but doesn't do anything. And it passes through on the way back out as well. But then the respiratory part is these tiny surfaces that make up the spongy portions of the lung, the smallest, uh, bronchioles, as well as the alveoli. And you'll notice in the image here too that they are completely surrounded by capillaries because that is where the gas exchange occurs between the alveoli and the capillaries. Okay. The upper respiratory tract, and this is showing you the upper respiratory tract here, uh, basically the parts that are in the head. Now, there are a lot of different pieces here, uh, and we will take a look at some of these in more detail as we go along. But your sinuses uh, that people talk about getting stuffed up all the time, those are all part of your upper respiratory tract, and you'll hear people refer to having an upper respiratory infection. That is the parts of the upper respiratory tract that are inflamed. That's what an upper respiratory infection refers to. Okay. The upper respiratory tract is composed of the nose and nasal cavity, the paranasal sinuses, the pharynx or throat, and the larynx or voice box. All parts of the conducting portion of the respiratory system. Okay. 
and all the parts before entering the lungs. That is your upper respiratory tract. Now, the upper respiratory tract is lined with what is called respiratory mucosa. And you have the diagram here first to take a look at. And so what you're looking at are the cells that line the various air conducting passageways of the respiratory tract. So you have these epithelial cells, and again, epithelial refers to the surface cells. Um, there's quite a few stem cells there because they keep being replaced, just like your skin cells are constantly being replaced. And there are goblet cells that make mucus. And the cilia on these cells uh, push the mucus along to help carry the mucus uh, with any trapped particles. Uh, to a place where it can be disposed of without letting the particles cause any harm. Let's take a look at the next slide here. So the respiratory mucosa is a layer of pseudostratified, ciliated, columnar epithelial cells that secrete mucus. Okay. Not real, pseudostratified means kind of layered, but not really. Ciliated refers to the cilia that move the mucus along. Columnar means they're like a cowl. Okay. These cells are found in the nose, the sinuses, the pharynx, the larynx, and the trachea. Mucus can trap contaminants. The cilia move the mucus up towards the mouth, and this ensures that they get swallowed and killed by acidic juices in the stomach. So again, and I'm going to go back one slide for just a minute here. So these cells secrete the mucus, and as you inhale any particles, uh, that might come in with the air as you inhale, get trapped by the mucus. The cilia move the mucus along so that it eventually gets swallowed. And uh, when it's swallowed, anything that might be like a bacteria, a virus, would get killed by the stomach acids. So it is a definite protective mechanism. Now, again, we can get pretty miserable when too much mucus is produced uh, and we can't get rid of it easily, but that's a story for another day. Okay, talking about the different parts and I think we'll go through the nose and stop where we finish the nose here today. The nose, it's a rich, has a rich supply of capillaries to warm the inspired air the inspired air, the air that you are inhaling. So when you breathe through your nose, you're warming the air. The olfactory mucosa is the mucous membranes that contain the smell receptors that are connected to the brain. The respiratory mucosa are pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium containing goblet cells that secrete mucus, which traps inhaled particles. There are lysosomes that kill bacteria and lymphocytes. And what is the job of the nose? The nose provides an airway for respiration. It moistens and warms the entering air. It filters and cleans the inspired air. And 
air must be warm and humid before hitting the cells of the respiratory system to prevent them from drying out. Okay, and I think that's probably a good spot to stop for right now. And again, make sure you've got the notes. If you didn't get everything down, please uh, rewind, pause, do whatever you need to get them all taken care of. Thanks.